The other news this Tuesday night, we have new surveillance this evening of the panic that played out in an American mall when a police officer shoots and kills the wrong man thinking he was the gunman. The victim, E.J. Bradford, had rushed toward the scene of the shooting, possibly to help police then shooting him. Tonight, that new video and the decision today about that officer's fate, the family of the victim is now outraged. And here's ABC's Victor Akendo. They just seen that man gun and shot him. Tonight, Alabama officials say the actions of the officer who fatally fired on the wrong man during the chaotic moments after a mall shooting were justified and not criminal. You covered it up. We in Alabama, it's still cool to kill a black man. In this newly released surveillance video, you can see people running for their lives as the shooting unfolded Thanksgiving night. According to a report by the Alabama Attorney General, 21-year-old Emantic E.J. Bradford was running toward the actual shooter and victim with a firearm visibly in his hand when he was shot. They just killed that black boy for no reason. Police first calling Bradford the suspect before retracting that statement. According to the report, the officer mistakenly believed that Bradford fired the initial shots. The alleged real gunman seen here escaping to a J.C. Penney, arrested one week later. Bradford's family outraged tonight. If that was your child, do you would you consider this justice? You shoot my child three times and y'all call that justice. Bradford's family says he was legally licensed to carry a concealed firearm. They're demanding police release all video in this case. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.